Anderson Aesthetics. Anderson Aesthetics. Hey guys. Hello. Hey, I'm Ethan King with Ethan, the uh, okay. Beauty Tour. Yes. I'll let Donna know you're here. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Right, I will definitely there's... tell you about it. Okay. <laughs> there's Donna. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. All right. So we're here with Donna at Anderson Aesthetics. Um, Hello. This is my first time here. I'm super excited. So Donna, tell, us, tell me what we're gonna be doing today. Sure, um, it's a procedure called Tempture. It's a radio frequency treatment. Hmm. And radio frequency um, heats up your tissue and causes it to produce collagen. Hmm, okay. So, ah, so radio frequency like in the air. Mm -hmm. Radio frequency. And it heats up your tissue. Mm -hmm. So it makes you look younger, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Now people, people tell me I already have a baby face. With you do. <laughs> you I'm do. I look like three years old when I'm out here. <laughs> well, it's a cumul cumulative process. Ah, okay? okay. One treatment you can see a little difference. Mm -hmm. uh, it usually takes three or four to see, before you see your maximum benefit of the treatment. Okay. Um, and then if you do the whole series of three or four, the results can last up to two years. Oh. If you protect your skin well enough from the sun. Okay. Because the sun is the number one enemy of the skin as far as breaking down the collagen. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So now, if you do this, mm -hmm. is it um, is it one of those things where if you stop doing it, will it reverse and then you'll look worse than you? Did no, before? you will not look okay. worse. You just look like yourself. Just go back. Like to you've yourself. never done anything. Okay. Yeah. So what is it? What are the main benefits? Like it's rid of wrinkles. Or? Uh, skin tightening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stimulates collagen deep down in the dermis. Uh, helps your fibroblasts produce the kick out the collagen. Okay. It wakes up the fibroblasts because it heats them up. It throws heat down there, and then the the fibroblasts start waking up and they start spitting out like collagen. Okay. And that's what makes uh, your skin tighter. Of okay. course, as we get older, we lose our collagen. We lose our elastin. Okay. Um, so we, we're doing this all over the yeah, face? Yeah, you can do full face, you okay. can just do the eye area. Um, and what would you recommend for me? Um, probably just the eye area. Just the eye area? Just the eye area, okay. yeah. yeah. I can okay. see a little a little laxity underneath your eye area. Oh yeah, I, I, my sleep <laughs> habits are I was going to say the sleep habits, <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so this will help with kind of the bags and the, the it will look. yes it'll okay. tighten up that area nicely mm -hmm. okay and that's one area where you can kind of see a lot in one treatment okay okay mm -hmm. so if i took like a before picture today and absolutely after picture, you like right after the treatment what i see i results? think you will looking at you i think you will oh okay. i think you will great mm -hmm. awesome. you may be a little pink underneath there okay um because it is heat okay um, but that will dissipate in about an hour or two the pink I'm not going to call it redness. It just gets a little pink, a little flushed like. Okay. That's all. Is there any pain? It's warm. It's warm. There's no pain. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being nothing and 10 being way too hot, Donna, don't do this anymore. It's about a 6, maybe 6, 7, but it's oh. very tolerable. Oh, okay. It won't get any heat or, it won't get any hotter than when I start doing the treatment. So as long as I keep the applicator moving, you'll be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long does it usually take? Um, probably about 10 minutes on each eye. Oh, okay. You want to have time. Um, the only thing is I'll ask you some medical questions before we start. Okay. Make sure you don't have any um, metal implants anywhere in the body. No. Um, Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not after that big party yesterday. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> but other than that, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, but if, if I did have metal implants, then that would be... It's probably not the right treatment for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What would happen? Because it does use a grounding pad. I have to oh. put a grounding pad on your back. Oh. So the energy goes from the machine through you back into the back into the machine. Interesting. And how long has this technology been around? Uh, radio frequency, gosh, it's been around... I'd say a good 15 years. Okay. In the anti-aging business. If not, maybe a little longer. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, who are, you, who are most of your clients? I'm sure I'm not your typical clientele, right? No. no okay. <laughs> um, typical clientele, female, uh, 45 and up. 45 and up, okay. Yeah, typical, right. typical. Do you, do you ever get any guys doing this? I, I do, you I do. Okay. I, I get guys that do this, the hydrofacial, um, which is a great treatment also. Okay. For the skin, basically for the, the health of the skin. Okay. Um, but yeah. 
we, we get our fair share because we do share our, our business here with Anderson um, Hair Restoration. Okay. So we do get a lot of the back and forth in between. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Okay. So do you know, tell me a little bit about the, do you know anything about like the business aspect? Look, I share a lot about business and entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and, and growth and inspiration. What do you know about Anderson as far as that angle? Um, I know we're growing. Um, okay. This is our second location. We do have a location down in Sandy Springs. Okay. Um, and Dr. Anderson is usually, does he go back and forth? or is he, he's, he's, all, he's here. He's here. Dr. Anderson's okay. here. We have another uh, physician, Dr. Lee, who is always down in Sandy Springs. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think Dr. Anderson could share a word today later or something? Probably or, not. Okay. He's that busy. He's, yeah. All right. <laughs> and what is he typically doing? He does services. the hair restoration and the consultations for the hair restoration. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. I might need hair restoration. So that, now, is that do you do? Um, do, do black guys get it? Like, oh, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Really? Hair okay. is hair, skin is skin, blood is blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. We do PRP for hair for hair growth. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've heard we of do that. that. Okay. Yeah, we do stem cells actually for hair growth. We're starting to do that. Oh, you guys are on the cutting, cutting edge. Cutting edge. Okay. Dr. Anderson is top notch when it comes to what he does. Okay. Top notch. Probably one of the best doctors in the country, if not the world. Really? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, fantastic. All yeah. right. Well, let's get going. Here. All right. We'll see you soon. Get up close. You can see it getting a little pink. Uh huh. So this would take care of like forehead wrinkles, frown lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll do your forehead too for you. We'll do your forehead. And um, you said most people do three or four treatments. Usually four treatments in a series. Is that's how? Um, that's where you get your best benefits. Okay. And you of course need it. Okay. You know, but probably thirty-five and above. Because my whole motto in my whole career has been you can never stimulate too much collagen. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. going to ask, what are any potential downsides? Any potential There's side not. effects? No, or it really isn't. Okay. No. Absolutely not. You're having collagen in your body? Absolutely not. Huh. No. And we just, we just lose collagen as we get older. We so, do. Okay. We do. We lose it, um, especially, like I said, by the sun, um, alcohol, smoking. Uh, pollutants in the air. No. So all that drinking I did in college, <laughs> catching up. Catching up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you look good for your age. Well, thank you. I thought you were a lot, a lot younger, actually. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Um, that was something I was supposed to. Okay, so the machine is fifty grand. How much is? Oh, one hundred and fifty. Oh, 150. 150. Okay. Yeah. yeah, about one fifty. I think these go for. Each, each treatment? Oh, no, the oh. treatments. No, 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 no. The treatments go for, for a full face, a full series of four goes for 2500 Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and you only sell them in seri a series, right? You know, people wouldn't get just the one like they this? They do. Yeah, okay. no, they come in for just one. Okay. They do. Because you'll be able to see something after this. You'll see a little tightening effect. How and much? It, how much would one treatment cost? Um, I think for the full face, one treatment is 800 Okay. One treatment for the eye is 300 I believe. Wow. That feels really good. It does. I'm actually going to do one today on myself after work. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice perk of doing this, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Is there, is there any risk of overdoing it? Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, the treatments are timed, so when this treatment is done, it's going to beep. Mm -hmm. But like if you did it every day, it wouldn't matter? No, oh. no. You know, and clients can't do it every day because it's expensive. <laughs> right. No, I could do it every day if I wanted to. Oh, okay. I mean, there's no, there's no, no kind of danger. You're just scraping away the gel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wipe it down later. I'll put some sunblock on you. Do you use sunblock on a daily basis? I do not. Yeah, you probably should. If you're, if you're concerned with, you know, anti-aging. I'll probably 
as we should. Because even though you're just driving the car, the rays are coming through. The wind, the, you know, the windows and everything, they just are. So what about when someone actually like, wants to go to the beach and actually wants to get a tan? It's okay. There's really nothing wrong with the tan. I mean, it is an injury to the skin. But if you don't overdo it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's really, no, the sun, the sun is not really the enemy. It's the amount of time you spend in the sun, which is the enemy. Oh. You know, people okay. just overdo it. I see. People just overdo it. Like when you just fall asleep out on the, by the oh, pool. Absolutely. <laughs> three hours later, you're yeah, baked. And you have no sunblock on? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good for your skin. Not good, no. But a little bit is fine. And moisture helps too, right? Oh, yeah. Because if you're laying on the sun dry. Oh, absolutely. That is not good. Okay. Do you um, on. do you use anything for skincare? Nothing. Or are you um, a typical guy who just washes with soap and water? Oh, no. I, I moisturize, but it's just over the counter, like um, cocoa butter, and mm -hmm. lotion. Mm -hmm. well, you know, there are ingredients that are performance ingredients. Tell me about the type of moisturizers to use under the eyes or in those performance ingredients. Yeah, well, under the eyes is a very delicate area. Um, and that's why you do need a specific eye cream because it's formulated a little lighter than a regular moisturizer. So it will penetrate the eye area. Mm. Um, but I would probably suggest any type of under eye moisturizer with vitamin C in it and retinol. Those are the two big ingredients for anti-aging. Mm. Those are probably the two ingredients that anybody needs for anti-aging is a good vitamin C serum in the daytime mm -hmm. and a good retinol at night. Okay, so I've seen that before, vitamin C and retinol, but what exactly, because when I think of vitamin C, I think of like orange juice and sure. immune system. How does that affect your eye? Well, vitamin C is an antioxidant in skincare and it helps protect the skin from the sun and it fights free radicals. And the free radicals are, um, free radicals, what are free radicals? They are, you're giving me a class here, let me think for a minute. <laughs> free radicals. <clears throat> They're not cells, They're, well, maybe they are damaged cells that attack the good cells. Mm -hmm. So vitamin C, fights those free radicals in your skin so your other cells don't get damaged. Hmm. So if you have a vitamin C serum, <clears throat> how should you use it? Um, in, in the daytime. Okay, just every morning? Every day, okay. yep, every day. Yep. Night too or just morning? Just morning. Okay. Just morning. Nighttime you want to use a retinol, which helps your skin cells turn over faster. And by turning over, I mean, as we start aging, our skin cells, the, our new skin cells don't come to the surface as quick as they used to, as when we were younger. Mm. So what happens is these old skin cells that are sitting on top sit there for four, five, six weeks and it makes our skin look dull and it makes us look older. Mm. So the retinol penetrates and helps those new skin cells that are deep down in the dermis come to the surface faster and get rid of those old ones. Mm. So those are the only two performance ingredients that anybody needs for anti-aging. Vitamin C in the morning, retinol at night. Exactly, exactly. And then of course a good sunblock in the daytime okay. to, to help protect all the good stuff you're doing. Mm, okay. Now does this gel you're using have any of that stuff in it? No, oh, this is just a <clears throat> conductive gel, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing to do with the treatment. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the treatment. Yeah, I mean, it's... Very relaxing. I'm glad. Doesn't feel hot at all. Good. Good, good, good. 
it feels like a, a massage I've never had, like a... A hot stone massage? Yeah, around the eyes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, I've never had anyone massage that area, but uh -huh. that's, that's what this feels like. Uh-huh. That's a great treatment. And this, what's the name of this treatment again? Tempture. Tempture, okay. Mm -hmm. good for the body too i use it on the body for women who want to and it's usually women i say women because it's usually women who are trying to fight that cellular skin so what, what body parts can you use this on uh abdomen i do a lot of abdomens um will it help you get a six pack uh no <laughs> a little more work involved okay. on your part <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but it helps that helps women with, and I say women because it's usually women I treat with on the body who have laxity from, you know, maybe having children. Yeah. A um, little bit of weight loss. I got a little loose skin going on, a little bit of cellulite going on. It so, helps. So when I think about the, like the abdomen area mm -hmm. and weight loss, that to me, I mean, I envision like a lot of loose skin. <clears throat> Is this really going to tighten it up a lot? <clears throat> no, no, okay. no, 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 no. No, not for someone who needs that much tightening. That's more you need a um, tummy tuck for that. Okay. And you recommend the sunblock all over the face? I do. I do. And how strong of a sunblock? Usually a 30 and higher. 30 oh, wow. and higher. 30 okay. is enough. 30 is enough, but if you want to go 40, 42, we have some that are 42. That's more than enough. Okay. But I like a physical sunblock over a chemical sunblock. There's two types of sunblocks. Hmm. A physical sunblock is just that. It's physical, so it sits right on top of your skin, and the rays bounce off of it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a guard, where a chemical sunblock, which is in a lot of moisturizers, a lot of creams, it's a chemical, and your skin absorbs it, and you don't get the protection you think you're getting. How do you know the difference? Does the bottle say physical? The bottle will say, yeah. Oh, okay. Physical sunblock is titanium dioxide and zinc. Mm. Where chemical sunblock, you'll see, I forgot, avobenzene is one of them, is one chemical. So yeah, you, you'll, you will see that it's a physical sunblock. And okay. it makes a big difference. Hmm. Yeah. So vitamin C in the morning, yep. sunblock to protect throughout the day, yep. retinol at night. All night. There you go. That's all you need. That'll keep you looking young. It sure will. Okay. Absolutely. You know, and for hydration, if your skin is, you know, a little, you know, a little dry, a little dehydrated, a good moisturizer with hyaluronic acid is always nice. Because hyaluronic acid draws moisture from the air into your skin. Hmm. Hyaluronic acid. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And that's for all over the face? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Good moisturizer for face and body. Anything with hyaluronic acid in it. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. And you know, you don't really need much more than that. You know, I have a lot of patients that they're on day creams and night creams and this cream and that cream and toners. I mean, you don't need all that. Yeah, it didn't feel hot at all. No. Yeah. I mean, it felt like uh, just, it, was, it was a spa treatment. Yeah. So very yeah. nice. Yeah, good. So when it comes to just anti-aging in general, is it safe to say that moisturizing is a is a big part? Do, do a lot of people just get out of the shower and not moisturize at all? Uh, it depends on your skin. I mean. Really? Okay. It depends. Uh, for the most part, I think the face, everybody moisturizes their face, I would think. Uh, body's different. I know I don't really have to moisturize my body. Okay. And I think a lot of that has to do with, my, with your diet. If mm. you're eating a lot of good fats, like avocado and salmon and walnuts and all those other good fats, mm -hmm. I think your body, your skin is healthy. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Because um, I'm a big proponent of what you eat 
affects how your skin looks. Right. I, I really am. Um, most people are lacking nutrients in their diets. That's just because of soil is depleted, you know, our soil is so depleted. So what are some good foods besides, uh, you mentioned avocado, mm -hmm. um, what, are, what are some other good foods for anti-aging? Um, any kind of berries, raspberries, blueberries are two of the best. Okay. Pomegranate seeds. Uh, green tea is very good for the skin. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh. um, actually, coffee is good for the skin. Oh. It's full of antioxidants. Oh, I love coffee. Yeah, good coffee. Um, what about coconut? Coconut's very good. Yeah, coconut's okay. very good for the skin. Yeah. A good whole food diet, if that makes sense. What are, what are some foods that work against you? In the uh, anything processed. Okay. Anything processed, anything with hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup. Those are some of the really big um, health-wise, not just for your skin, but health-wise that are very bad for you. Okay. So if you try to eat a good, clean diet with lots of greens, lots of um, good, good lean protein. Okay. Um, you know, you're, you're ahead of the game. So, a lot of water. Oh yeah. Water intake. Yeah. So if you, if you're a meat lover, like uh -huh. I, I love a good steak. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, but the quality of the steak the does quality. make a difference. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Gotta try to go for the grass fed if you can get it. It's hard oh, to no. find it in restaurants. Grass fed. Uh -huh. You know, it's getting more out there. Um, let's see. So this is the type of thing you would recommend daily? Yep. Okay. Yep. Your skin is in very nice condition, actually. Thank you. Yeah. I don't see anything going on in through here as far as blackheads and this and that. No, you're doing a good job. Thank you. You're doing a good job. Good forehead. A little break out there, but that's okay. I didn't know that. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, this morning I have a pimple of all. Yeah. I really get one. I know. And what is this you're putting on? Eye cream. And what's in that one? Um, as far as all the ingredients, I'm not sure about all the ingredients. I know it's got some vitamin C in it. Just some good hydrators. Sunblock. Okay. And the sunblock is tinted. There you go. Might be not on the back there. Okay. All right. It's Donna, guys. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. All right. That was fun. It's definitely a different experience. Temp sure.